During World War II, the nuclear age literally exploded. It was a time when an overwhelming fear of Adolf Hitler and his Nazi regime was at its height. A deep mistrust between the United States and Soviet Union also began. The result was a race to build a weapon capable of destruction unlike anything seen before. By World War II, physicists knew about the power of nuclear energy. Driven by intellectual discoveries, they had worked for years to unravel the mysteries of atoms. Eventually, they discovered that splitting atoms of the elements uranium and plutonium released an enormous amount of energy. Energy that could create a massive explosion. They used this discovery to create a bomb. In June of 1945, the United States had built and tested the first atomic bomb. Less than two months later, the U.S. used this weapon against another World War II enemy, Japan. In an effort to put a quick end to the war, two bombs were dropped on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Over 200,000 people were killed by the explosions and the radiation released. The effects of the bombs were so alarming that nuclear weapons have been a subject of political debate ever since. The atomic bomb is sometimes called a fission bomb because it operates by uncontrolled nuclear fission. When the nucleus of a uranium atom splits, particles fly out with such force that they split other atoms. A chain reaction begins. If it's not controlled, the result is a powerful explosion that happens within a fraction of a second. But a thousand times more destructive than the atomic bomb was the hydrogen bomb first tested in 1952. The Pacific is the chosen proving ground for the United States H-bomb experiment here amid vast ocean spaces far from human habitation. This is the first full-scale test of a hydrogen device. If the reaction goes, we're in the thermonuclear era. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Unlike atomic bombs, hydrogen bombs use a fusion reaction in order to explode. The same reaction that powers the sun. Nuclear weapons have not been detonated in war since the first bombs were dropped in Japan. But many countries now possess them. Some argue that all nuclear weapons should be disposed of. Others want to establish international treaties to make sure they are never used again. <laughs> 